Thank you for joining us today. My name is Frank Jimenez, and I am one of the programmers for Kevin Pro Software. Uh, every day, we're gonna, at around three o'clock, we're going to have a uh, three o'clock Eastern time. That is, uh, we will be having a fifteen-minute uh, presentation, such as what we're having right now, and that those presentations will cover uh, the main aspects of Kevin Pro Software. Uh, Kevin Pro Software, remember, will is designed to take you from three-dimensional design to um, uh, to cutlass reports, to bidding reports, to various types of bidding reports, I might add, uh, to material reports, uh, panel optimization, uh, both optimization for CNC and optimization for panel saws, as well as direct CNC output without having any other uh, any need for any other software. So today we will be covering design with a short video, and then when after the video is finished, we'll be coming back to uh, the program itself on on uh, to show you some other aspects of design. Uh, make sure that you write down any questions uh, that you might have in the chat section. And as we all know, uh, individual one-on-one -on -one correspondence and, and discussion is always better than what we're doing right now which is just a virtual um, presentation of some sort. So feel free to uh, give us a, a telephone call to discuss your specific needs and also to schedule a personalized demo for what you would require, not just a generalized idea, a generalized demo of what you're about to see. So uh, let's go ahead and look. And mentioned in either inches or Cabinet Pro allows different floor plans to be made in 25 rooms with up to 100 cabinets per room. You can dimension the floor plan by simply pressing the dimension button. Where the floor plan will be dimensioned in either inches or millimeters. Throughout Cabinet Pro, you may switch to and from millimeters or inches on demand just as is being done here. Since not everyone wants the same information showing on a dimension floor plan, Cabinet Pro allows the information displayed when dimensioning to be customized according to your requirements. Cabinet Pro also produces 3D line drawings, textured drawings with our standard graphics package, and enhanced textured drawings with our premium graphics package. If you wish to open the doors in order to see what is inside of each cabinet, Cabinet Pro will display the insides of your cabinets with the doors open. Now let's look at some of the ways cabinets can be placed in a floor plan. To do this, we will start with a blank sheet instead of a pre-made floor plan. One of the ways we can place cabinets onto a floor plan is with Cabinet Pro's autofill feature, which has numerous options to allow the placement of either custom cabinets or modular cabinets. Here, we automatically filled a wall with cabinets that existed in our library. Obtaining an elevation of any given wall is as simple as selecting a wall after pressing the elevation button. Where the elevation can be a simple line drawing, a textured drawing with our standard graphics, a finished drawing with our premium graphics, or a fully dimensioned drawing where again, you have control over what kind of information will be displayed. If you are in face frame mode, you may press the show face frame only button after which Cabinet Pro will display just the face frame and cases of all cabinets. That can then be dimensioned after pressing the dimension button. By clicking any of the photos on the left, you can quickly change the look of the countertop, the flooring, the various appliances, etc. And by clicking either of the default doors currently assigned to your room, you will be taken to your customized door library to select a different door. And instantly, not only does your drawing change to reflect your new changes, but your bid has been adjusted along with your cut list, door reports, and even CNC code if machining MDF doors. If we choose to place one cabinet at a time, we simply select the cabinet of our choice from our library and then accept that cabinet into our job where we can drag it into place or simply snap it to a wall or next to an existing cabinet. Once the cabinet is snapped to a wall or to another cabinet, we can move it from there if we need to. 
Placing another cabinet next to our base unit is done the same way. For example, we can select a drawer bank and snap it to the right side of our base unit. If we are in face frame mode, then the ends of the face frames are snapped together. If we are in frameless mode, then the sides are snapped together. We can tilt the drawing in any direction we wish, zoom in to a particular portion of the drawing, or spin the drawing for easy viewing. We can join individual cabinets so that they are under a single face frame. Let's join the two modular cabinets we just placed. Here, we have chosen two modular cabinets to join as one. And when Cabinet Pro takes us to the Cabinet Editor to further modify this cabinet, we will find that the entire cabinet is behind a single face frame. To view just the face frame, click the face frame icon. This will show just the face frame, the widths of each style and rail, and the opening dimensions. When we are finished editing our newly joined cabinet, we may click the OK button to place it back onto our floor plan. It is important to understand that not only has the cut list changed dramatically during this process of joining two modular cabinets, but the CNC code required to machine and process the parts to this cabinet is already done. Once finished, you can email your drawings with captions and notes to your customer as a PDF file for their approval. When your customer sees the rendering that shows exactly what they want, not only will they be impressed with your professionalism, but in addition, there won't be any surprises when you have finished installing their new cabinet. After your customer reviews and approves your drawings, you are ready to process the job to obtain your bid, your cut list, your panel optimization, and your CNC code. This efficiency, accuracy, precision, and speed with which Cabinet Pro processes a job from start to finish is why your profits will be dramatically increased and is also why Cabinet Pro is simply powerful. What you just saw had to do with face frame cabinetry, as you most likely noticed. Uh, but Cabinet Pro also handles frameless as well. So what I'd like to do is hit two birds with one stone in a little bit of time that we have left. I want to talk about frameless cabinetry, and at the same time, I want to talk a little bit more about the features of the uh, design um, aspect of our cabinet editor. The cabinet editor, which is what you're looking at right now, is the absolute heart of the program. We have on the left-hand side a number of categories, and I'll just go over these very, very quickly. We have cabinet information where we can, there's quite a bit of information that we can um, customize this cabinet with. At the doors and door pulls category, there's also more information that we can utilize if we had doors on this cabinet. Um, the door and drawer pulls. Well, in fact, let's look at the door and drawer pull just for a moment. If I were to look at this drawer bank, and let's say I want to put make the two middle drawers the same and the bottom drawer different. Let's say I want to make the bottom drawer eight inches. If I hit apply, the program will figure out the, the, the based upon the reveals and the space we have left, what the do drawers and the drawer boxes and the drawer fronts, uh, what those dimensions should be. Now, if I were to look at this cabinet, and if I looked at the right side of this cabinet, I'll take a wire view so we can see the the drawers inside. You'll notice that the that the drawer lengths are all the same. Uh, and if I were to look at the machine for that particular side, um, just as it is right now, based upon the drawer guides that are being used, you'll see that we have the various holes for the drawer guides. I don't know if you can see these or not, but they're in little green circles. Those represent the drawer guide holes. They could also, by the way, be pockets if you are using lockdown construction. Um, the, this is a dado cut for a blind dado top. This is a dado cut for a blind dado bottom. Now, what if we needed to change these drawer guides or at least the, uh, the depth of the shell, the uh, drawer itself? On this table, if you were to look at the drawers and drawer pulls category, you would see a lot of information about each drawer that you could change on the fly. For example, you could change the box height based upon uh, and leave the drawer front the same. Or let's go ahead and do an example and change the 
the depth of the second drawer. If I put, let's say, for example, we had a pipe in the back there and I needed to change that to 12 inches or whatever. Um, if I click that and use the right mouse button again, wire, you'll see that the, that the graphics of the drawer has changed. But more importantly, the, the bid has changed, the cutlass has changed, as well as the CNC. Uh, if you, again, if you have CNC, Cabin Pro, by the way, um, it comes in two different forms, the so-called standard form, which is non-CNC, and then the CNC aspect or option, which of course uh, includes CNC machining. At any rate, if I were to now look at this as we, as, uh, we just made the change and look at that exact same unfinished end that I looked at before, and view the machining on it, we will see that immediately all the, the the appropriate drawer guide holes have changed. These three right here happen to be the drawer guide pattern for a 12 inch drawer guide. Um, and while the other holes are for the uh, full full depth drawers that remain. But the point is, that the machining changes immediately. If we were to change the, the thickness of these the um, uh, bottoms or the tops, the, you would see also that the that the thickness of the or the width rather of the um, dado cut would also change because th when you make a change on material thickness. That change is carried over immediately into the cut list, bidding, and CNC aspects of the program. So tomorrow, we will be discussing uh, in more detail the cut list reports and uh, some de another video having to do with the cut list reports. If, we, if you look at our website, um, you'll be able to see more videos. We have quite a few videos on our website at www.com. So I would like to thank you for, um, for your attention. And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to give us a call or write us an email. We'll be more than happy to talk with you. Until tomorrow, we'll see you then.